So I really chose a nasty day out here. It's, it's kind of drizzling out here. Me and Sylvie are just sitting here on the back porch. So it's just the best time not to have the fancy cameras, not to have the fancy lights. Just you and me sitting on the back porch with Sylvie having a good time. It's fun. We don't need all that fancy lighting and such today, do we? This is just going to be a one-on-one -on -one talk. I'm sitting on my back porch using natural sunlight. Eh, is it as good as uh, my studio lighting? Doesn't matter today. So I'm just going to get real here and just talk about uh, what is taking place on my YouTube channel. And I would love to get your opinions as to what we can do differently uh, on YouTube to, you know, get more views from you guys. I know some of you, whenever I first started out, I was doing a ton of work uh, showcasing reviews, uh, tutorials, and just some of the gear I used. And then I switched over and showed a lot of you guys what I do for a living, and that's real estate photography. I do a lot of real estate photography around the Houston area. And then, well, we switched over to doing food reviews, where I teamed up with Nick Rama during COVID, and we did a ton of food reviews of restaurants all around the Houston area. And a lot of you came to our YouTube channel simply for those food reviews of the different restaurants. But I'm at a dilemma here. Uh, the dilemma is this. It's, it's kind of simple. Um, I have a love for all of these things, and I feel like I'm neglecting the other things that I enjoy doing. And that is cinematography. I love doing videos. I love taking photos. And I feel like on the YouTube channel, lately it's a part of me that I just don't get to showcase and uh, something I really want to do. So I want to ask you personally, you're my friend, uh, what do you think? Should I do the things that I really want to do as well as the food reviews? Or should I separate my channel? I know a lot of big YouTubers out there are separating their channels lately. And they have one channel for other topics and they keep one strictly for what they mainly are doing. The only thing I'm really worried about is that a part of me is actually in those videos. You actually get to see how I edit, you guys get to see how I film, and pretty much all of me is in those videos. So it is a part of me, an extension of me, that uh, I still like to showcase. But I also want to showcase the gear I use I like to give tutorials on how I edit videos. So are some of you interested in that as well? And is that something that I can grow up alongside the food reviews? I'm not a huge fan of gluing something to the end of my camera. See this little motor here? Boink. This is very, to me, sensitive. So if you, <laughs> yeah, whoa. So anyway, these are just my thoughts lately. Love to hear your thoughts on uh, what I should be doing on this YouTube channel. And uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate the feedback. Should I split the channel? Have a dang that's good. And then maybe have another channel for just myself and the meanderings. But again, remember, you know, a lot of the dang that's good is filmed by me and edited by me. So a lot of me <laughs> is actually in those videos. And some people, I've been getting some questions, you know, how am I doing this? You know, what are we using? What gear are we using? So some of you are asking those questions. And should I answer those on this channel or a different channel? These are some topics I'd love to kind of go down that rabbit hole on and I think it'd be interesting on the YouTube channel and like I said right now we're about 90% food videos and yes don't get me wrong I love the restaurants I love Houston Texas I love Texas and I love to see the restaurants and I love to support local businesses and that's not gonna stop I'm still gonna be doing that just whether or not it's on a different channel or keeping it here again these are my rambling thoughts uh, you know I, I really wanted to sit down and and make a really fancy video today and I thought you know sometimes I just want to sit back and chill and just you know be me so yeah that's about all I got to say uh, I really appreciate you listening to me rant and rave uh, if you like this type of video format I really want to start doing this more on a weekly basis you know for a while there I wanted to do it on a daily basis that's just too challenging but I definitely want to actually start doing this on a weekly basis have a vlog about what I'm doing during the daytime and uh, kind of leading up to some of the restaurant reviews we do so moving forward you'll probably see them more like this they'll be short they'll be sweet they'll be me with the Sony ZV-1 but by the way I love this camera it's fantastic 
I even have the Sony ZV-E10. Love that camera too, but I always go back to the ZV-1. I just love its portability. It's so great. So anyway, uh, it's going to be me, the ZV-1, maybe the ZV-E10, coming along with me for some of these videos and just showcasing what we're doing um, pretty much daily down here in Houston, Texas. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> I appreciate it. Please, please, please leave some comments down below. You guys aren't that chatty on my channel. I love to see more comments. So if you can, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think uh, about what we're doing with our YouTube channel. And give me some comments and suggestions of how we can possibly grow this. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks for the heart to heart. You know, I don't get to do this very often. And it was just nice talking to you. Thank you. I will see you soon next week or possibly this week as we release another video here shortly. Bye.